of the clubhouse. Today, I'm gonna buy a new business. Well, I always seem to take that wrong turn sometimes. It's okay, we'll just go over that island. <laughs> and around the corner. There we go. Yeah, no matter how many times I come down here, I said no, I just do that sometimes. There we go. Maybe we should back it up. Be ready to leave. Be careful. It's my new van. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. Bit of a sun shower right now. And uh, yeah, it's uh, once again at the late night of a uh, of a sale, although this one's just an account specific sale. So only some accounts get these, but keep your eye open for those like we've talked about in the past. They usually show up in your little email icon on your phone. Yeah, so let's head into the clubhouse here. I'm currently in the company just to keep the raids down, so I'll switch over to the MC in a second. Yeah, I might have to, uh, might have to actually, um, maybe we'll check her out. Might have to actually, uh, switch companies before I touch the computer. We'll see if it automatically does it or not. So today, we're gonna finish up the businesses, I think, at my last business that I want. A drink to celebrate. We're gonna get a cash factory today. Cash factory. That'll fix what ails yeah. you. Well, that and a cash factory. <laughs> Need more cash. Yeah, so the biker businesses, we definitely recommend the cocaine business being the best, the methamphetamine lab being the second best, and the third best would be the cash factory, the counterfeit cash factory. So that's what we're going to get right now while I've got that little um, account sale on the go for 30% off. Now, I don't think it gives me any upgrades. It just gives me the, um, the, uh, the base price, but, you know, savings are savings, right? Oh, there we go. Didn't give me the icon. Yeah, so we get while we can. Now we also have a weed farm, which isn't as good as the as what we're going to get today, but it's still decent for when you have nothing better to do. And the document forgery, the first business, the cheapest business, is not recommended. It really doesn't make you much money at all. So we'll get to that in a moment after we uh, have a look inside here. Oh, oh apparently I'm going to have to switch over here. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no, retire. Get to retire first. Retire. There we go. No longer see you. Where's the club? Start the syndrome. All right. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Log into the open road and see what LJT has to say about it. So for me, having the fourth business, now that I've got enough money and, you know, I've got those beginning, like the best ones, the cocaine lockup and the methamphetamine lab, um, now it's just about getting it all filled in so when I've got time I can run around doing all these missions. But if you wanted just one business, I'd recommend the cocaine lockup. Okay, so let's see here. Buy business. Counterfeit cash. And these are the order of profit. Okay, so maybe we'll cover that while that's on screen here. So let me just bring up my little list here just to cover it for those of you that don't know and want to know the profits. So basically, when you sell, and you always sell to the far sell, which is the more valuable sell. There's two sells. You can usually sell close to you in the neighborhood or far away, okay? And you usually want to do the far sell. That's usually worth the profit, all right? So for um, uh, a full weed for the full forgery, is only 126000 Definitely not recommended. The weed starts becoming worth it, 252000 And the counterfeit cash is 294000 And the methamphetamine is 357000 And the cocaine is 420000 Okay, now, after if you're buying supplies like I usually do, okay, and if you're usually buying supplies, then after costs, the, f the uh, forgeries is not worth it. It's usually typically about $36,000 in profit. Boo. So that's not even worth it. You can make better money doing missions than that. Um, the weed farm starts becoming worth it, $132,000 in profit, and the counterfeit cash is $144,000, which isn't bad at all, and the methamphetamine is $169,500, uh, typically. And the cocaine is 770,000. Okay, and that being the best. All right, so let's get in the counterfeit cash. Now, we're going to be doing the city. And I usually like the West Coast and the city. So I think we're going to stick to that rather than these country locations. But of course, that increases our price. But we are still on sale. We're in the final hours. Like, I like to leave it till. But at least I'm going to get it. 
So Cypress Flats is in the lower parts of the city, but we're going to go right to, unfortunately, the most expensive one, which is in the Vespucci Canals, which I'm hoping is actually just down the way from our clubhouse, where we are right now. So it's normally 1.6 million, and I guess again, as far as the sale goes, it gives me the most money off. So normally 1.6 million, just over, and now it's uh, 1.1 million, 23,000. Yeah, so we're saving just a little bit under uh, 500,000 for this. It's not bad. So counterfeit cash factory, location Vespucci Canals, tiny beachside lockup for a boutique printer. All the hippies round here would think crayon sketch of a dollar bill is legit. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? That's what I'm thinking. All right, buy now. Sure you want to buy this business? I am sure. There goes 1.1 million. Purchase successful. Excellent. Okay, businesses we own. There it is. All right. I guess there's no GPS setting or anything. Hmm. So there it is right there. Very cool. All right, so we're gonna have to go check that out. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Yeah, all right. Cash factory. <laughs> it's too bad that wasn't number one. You'd think cocaine would be worth more than 420000 for a place for cocaine. And you think the cash factory, well, they could make a lot of money with that, right? Yeah. So we could take one of our bikes, but I think I'm going to take my new van out. It's kind of bikerish, right? Kind of. Should we buy a drink? Nah, nah, we already had one. Maybe on the way back. Good luck out there. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> Action dodge there. Action dodge, jump into our action van. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look. There it is, nice and easy to identify. Dollar bill right there. Yeah, don't even know if I really need a, a GPS for that, but you know. That's an over. All right, so we already covered the profits. So um, I would also recommend a CEO car warehouse too as one of the best ones. It's really the backbone of how I make my money, for those that wonder. And then in between that, because you can't always sell a car, you know, they can only be done every 20 minutes at most. So in between that, I try to do these sales as wherever possible, cocaine and meth. And I try to do the weed wherever possible in between. And believe it or not, sometimes I actually get some extra time in between and I was thinking I could really use this cash factory. And it makes more money than my weed farm. A uh, weed farm I bought on uh, 420. So keep your eye open for that. Then maybe uh, Rockstar will do another sale on the next 420 if you don't get another sale between now and then. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think we pull in right here. Let's check it out. Let's see if we can set it up. Because there's a chance it covers the setup, my sale, but I got a feeling it doesn't. Cool. So yeah, not very far away at all. Perfect, because we're a West Coast company. we got lots of stuff all on the West Coast for those that watch the show. So this just really adds to the West Coast stuff. i got a feeling we're going to be heading out for our supplies, of course. So, okay, we'll just back it right in. New landlord. <laughs> Alright, nice. Discreet-ish. Alright, let's go in. Let's have a look. Uh, this is your kind of fit cash business. Production is suspended until the necessary supplies and setup equipment have been located and delivered. We're working on that. Once the business is up and running, your MC will be able to produce and sell counterfeit cash. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's printers. Access the open road admin site on the secure laptop, like the other businesses. Yeah, there you can order supplies, which is usually recommended. Unless you have extra time and lots of friends, usually supplies aren't worth your time. You can make better money doing other things. All right. Oh, and I got another research unlock already. Heavy sniper Mark II thermal scope. All right. It's one of the ones I've been looking forward to. Mind you, you can use the new thermal helmets, and those are probably more recommended. The helmets with the four lenses on them are thermal. You can activate them in your menu, in your interactive menu, and they usually stay active once you've activated them for the next while. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. I got the thermal scope for my sniper rifle. Yeah. All right. So checking it out here. Check that out. Money printers. Money printers. I want one. Or ten. <laughs> Alright. Cool. A little empty. Oh yeah. A little bit like a laundromat there. I guess that's where we're going to be drying and aging. You know, early aging some bills that are brand new to make them look old and not, not at all printed and not at all brand new. <laughs> Alright. So let's go do the setup. 
Sins of Grow. We'll log in. All right, zeros of everything. Set up. Are you sure you want to set up this business? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't call me too much, LJD. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we're almost good to go. Just yep. need this first batch of supplies and we'll kick into gear. Good. Exciting times. Hmm. Yeah. Go to East Vinewood. Collect the stockade and deliver it to the business. A stockade? That's like a military truck. Well, let's go get it. I'd usually have my helicopter out or something, but I just gotta feel like driving the van. Just feels like an action van. <laughs> Not too very far to go here, either. Alright, here's the next turn. Come through. It's a king burrito. It's a nice little fun, cheap little van. Faster a van too. Tougher than I expected too. For those that watched the show, I, I uh, was playing around and I sat in the back and the cops were attacking me and it actually lasted pretty well. Even after that, it had no handling issues after they'd shot it with shotguns and all that. Yeah. Alright, here we are. Looks like in front of the casino. Oh, that's a good place to pick up a cash thing. Yeah, there it is. The stockade. Oh, okay. I was thinking of something else. I think I was thinking of the uh, barracks. Yeah. So that's the stockade. Collect the supplies and return them. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's funny. I thought maybe that we'd get some AIs. Usually supplies uh, missions when you set them up, or I should say a setup mission, has no enemies. Uh, unless other players mess with you or things like that. And then you could just run it again. But I thought with this one, being that it was a armored car, maybe we'd have some AIs attacking us, but no, not this time. All right, let's head back to the Vespucci Canals. <laughs> All right, so we're getting close to our destination. Go through. I ain't stopping. <laughs> We got money to print. <laughs> no time to waste. Yeah, not suspicious at all. <laughs> um, all right. There we go. This is the production area. Counterfeit cash processing will begin here once the staff arrive. Nice. Excellent. Counterfeit cash will be processed and stocked, stacked in the trolleys here. In order to maintain, production supplies will be used. Mm, money, money, money. If the business becomes full of product and runs out of supplies, production will cease. You'll still need to pay production overhead, so check back in the business regularly to manage production. So don't leave your business running if you're not running it, basically, because it costs you money. Yeah, and there's our access to the Open Road website, so you can order supplies, which is usually the best recommended way, unless you've got lots of friends around. It usually works out to better profit than getting the supplies yourself. Hey, hey the supplies are in and production is a go. Yeah. Be excited, be terrified, be humble, and be discreet, okay? Long John <laughs> Teabag out. Later. <laughs> well, I'm excited. Uh, discreet? I don't know. We just pulled up an iron car back. 
not sure how discreet that is. Hopefully somebody removed the GPS board and got here. Yep. All right, so there's some money printers there. Counters, yeah, money counters. I'm not sure, I guess we'll see what they do there. Fine work over here on the bills. And those would be the main printers, and those would be the dryers. Yep, all right, well, let's check in on those upgrades. Like I said, I don't think they're on sale. But the wording of the account specific sale was kind of vague, but I think it was just the property that I get money off on. But let's see. Buy upgrades. Hmm, not sure. I think those are normal prices. That's okay, though. Okay. Well, let's see. Well, we do want the security upgrade. That keeps the raids down. Unfortunately, raids are almost a given to happen. They are very annoying in the game, but they are easily managed. Take your time. Typically, you have a timer. Call in your armored car. Take your time and be careful. And usually, they're not too much of a problem. On the bright side, if your business does get shut down from a raid, you can run the setup, and usually it fills up, usually, it fills up your supplies afterwards on the bright side. Anyway, security upgrade, 456,000. Sold. Confirm. All right, that's going to load up our security upgrade. Okay. Now that means we should have a security guy at the door, but no staff has arrived yet, so we'll have to check in on him a little bit later on. Probably sits in that chair yeah, there, I bet. Or maybe stands near the door. That's our security upgrade. All right, let's get the next upgrade. Log in. Buy upgrades. All right, staff upgrade. Purchase this upgrade to hire more staff. This will speed up your production rate and improve the overall value of your product. Sounds good. Two hundred seventy-three thousand. Now there probably won't be too many changes from this one. Oh, that was weird. I didn't have to click the OK. Just kind of automatically did it. But there we go. Took the money. No real changes that I notice. There'll be more staff and stuff, and the staff usually looks a little different. But we'll wait for them to show up. More professional staff. We'll just start it right. We're making money after all. <laughs> Literally. All right. Buy upgrades. Last upgrade. Equipment upgrade for eight hundred eighty thousand. Purchase this upgrade to install higher quality equipment. This will speed up your production rate and improve the overall value of your product and allow your supplies to stretch further. Sounds good. Are you sure you want to purchase this upgrade? And I imagine for that money I told you guys earlier at the beginning, it would require having these upgrades. Okay, without the upgrades, you don't get nearly the same kind of profit. Confirm. 880,000 dropped. So that's roughly about just over, what, 2 million we spent now? Yeah, two and a quarter million on this. We'll get it back. All right, equipment upgrades. So I think we've gotten more printers now, don't we? Yeah, and they look a little bit better. Not sure if it's my imagination, but things seem a little bit better around here. Yeah. Same dryers and everything, though. All right, so we are fully upgraded. Cash factory. Yeah, counterfeit cash factory. Yeah. The latest addition to the Synzochrome MZ. Probably the last MC business I will get. The only reason for me to get the document forgeries at this point would be to get the decorations from running the sales. You get decorations to your clubhouse related to that business. So that'd be about the only reason to really get the uh, document forgery one. Uh, I don't know, that's expensive decorations to buy a MC business just for that. <laughs> but this one, I'm very happy about that. This is going to be great. So let's uh, give them a chance for the business, uh, for the staff to show up and the business get rolling. We'll check back in on them. All right, I'll see you guys back in a minute or two. Hopefully, it don't take too long. Job, monies, money at the job, literally. <laughs> I can pay you, sure. How do you feel about making your own paycheck? <laughs> your own cash deposit. Don't bring it to the bank. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I thought I could. Oh, yeah, I can get around. <laughs> Lots of money to pay them soon. <laughs> you calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. It's coming at you. All right, your staff arrived at the counterfeit cash factory. Just let them do their magic. Production is a go. Wow. Well, that was quick. They were actually pretty quick. But, uh, I didn't even get around the corner. They're faster than Johnny on the spot. No surprise there. <laughs> I should bug him. He's very handy, but sometimes, sometimes not so much. Sometimes not so on the spot. Yeah. 
And I don't mean when you're just in those places like the airport. I mean, in the middle of places he comes a hundred times. Every now and again, he just doesn't come at all. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but he never shows up. And the timer, of course, you get the cooldown timer, so you can't call him again. You know, that's what I always get anyway. <laughs> Boss is here. Straighten up. Better be making money in there. Literally. Better be making money. <laughs> Let's go have a look. That's kind of early. We just left, so I don't think they'll really have made much yet. All right. Loud in here. Oof. Very loud. Look at all that money. Woo. Look at that. That's all our money. Yeah. Lots and lots of twins. Easy to get rid of. Good goal. All right, good job, man. Good job. Oh, you're cutting them, eh? Good. Good work. All right. It's nice making money, right? Yeah. Real nice making money. Good work. Oh yeah, they look aged already. Excellent. Good job. I guess they put in the chips, so it looks like we're getting counterfeit poker chips too, by the looks of it. Huh. There's some money in there. Yep. They dry it around, make it look all worn and old. Work in progress for the fine details. Look at all that money. They're counting it all, right? Right? How much? You got the same charge as the other guy. I'm gonna talk to you guys about more details. <laughs> Alright, good work. Good work, team. Good work. Yeah. Awesome. Glad to have you aboard. Oh, our security guy. Hey. Really should have gotten to you for that kind of money, but, uh, you know, it's Cash Factory, so, uh, really want to keep your eyes open around here, okay? Keep your eye on all these guys, you know, what kind of new staff. And raids. Don't like them. Do your best, right? Alright. Counting on you. Counting on you. See you next time. Alright. Hopefully not for a raid. <laughs> Alright. So let's let them make some money for us. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. Alright, everybody. Very cool. So that is the counterfeit cash factory. Yep. Fully set up. So we'll have to come back here and do our uh, do our full sale very soon. Okay, and I'll just quickly double check what was that total amount. Just to recap that for the cash factory, the total sales when we do our first sale, you'll see it again. But you no, know, for some people that want to know, when you sell far away, the cash is two hundred ninety-four thousand, and that is uh, profiting after you buy all the supplies. That is, if you do that, that would profit you still roughly about one hundred forty-four thousand. Yeah. So that's not too bad at all. We could use that in between our other stuff. And like I said earlier, I'd recommend a car warehouse, cocaine place, uh, cocaine lockup, you know, methamphetamine lab. And then maybe if you got some extra time, might be a good idea to get one of these too. Yeah, be rocking. <laughs> With money, literally. Oh, helps pay for mechanics. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you back soon for the first sale and for more of our regular episodes. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and if you're new, you should subscribe. It's free, it really helps us out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. I'm Liz and Zach. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. All right. Go make some more money. Pay for my money making. Ha, ha, ha.